We are not at a resort today, everybody, but we only have moments left to accomplish a very important task, and that is the stressful scenario of taking our button release photos. With a limited time constraint with the sun going down. Look at, look at the sun. It's practically a sunset on Hollywood. Sunset on Sunset Boulevard. We're on Hollywood Boulevard right now, though. Oh, sorry. But we have moments left. We need to take three photos of our buttons that are coming out. We're gonna release the artwork in what, like four days, three days? We're not giving you the sneak peeks. We're not. But they're very fitting to be taken on Sunset Boulevard. I'll give you a hint though. Not Hollywood Studios really. Yes. That was by far the quickest and most successful photo taking. Yeah. I'm very pleased. In our entire 13 months of taking those photos. So, pat in our backs for sure. If we didn't have fun plans this weekend, I'd say let's treat ourselves to a PB&J shake or something. Well, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this new crazy mother. Well, you may have not known it, but ever since the last time we went on this ride and Sarah creamed me, I've been wanting to get my revenge. And he did. And I got it. Well, it was a really good match. Yeah. It was like super close the whole time and, yeah, back, and forth, back. back and forth, back and forth. We were within like a thousand points, which isn't a lot in that game. Almost the whole time. But Peter's good at that end. The end where you get like all those... All the ones on the on the the, the mine thing. That's my bread and butter. We just did something so time travel. So college program, what we would do during the college program. We literally just went to Hollywood Studios, took the photos for the buttons, went on to Toy Story, and left. But it's it's like really hot out for it being nightfall. Yeah. Like it's it's, a, it's not even like a humid no. hot. It's just hot. like hot. It's like the car said it was 93, and it's. It's, the sun's gone. Yeah. So we're like, you know what? Sarah doesn't have her mug because it's at home with hot chocolate stone it. Hey, <laughs> you packed it. You I did. I, I forgot to pack Sarah's. But I have mine because I, I, I had it in there from yesterday, so I needed to pack it. To be honest, if it wasn't in there already, <laughs> wouldn't have brought it. But we have one of the mugs, so we're going to stroll uh, boardwalk and find some air conditioning and relax. So if you're walking at the boardwalk, just past the pizza window huh? is the boardwalk bakery. And word on the boardwalk is this is where we can refill our rapid refill cups. Look at these cool tiles in the back of the, the boardwalk bakery. Wow. This is a cute little place to get sandwiches and snacks. We should get some snacks here sometime. There's so many good food places on this here boardwalk. Yeah. Ooh. Let's just look at them. Let's just look at what they have. What? I've never even been in here before. Hold on. How to make ice cream. Whisk it, heat it, chill it, turn it, add them, eat it. 
so this cute. is the cutest. I don't know how I've never been in here. Look at this. Sally sells, she sells. A flavor from your imagination. Look at this place. It's the cutest little containers ever. How is, look at this. That is a big old cow. Look at this postcard. Something to remember where it all started. Stay sweet. The employees of Brooklyn. Greetings from Brooklyn. This is super cute. The ice cream, the little artist thing looks so good. Look at Butter pecan. PB wins a cup. If you didn't know, this is how you build a sundae. Like an ooey gooey. I, re I really want an ooey gooey. It's got chunks of ooey gooey cake in it. Are these Star Wars? Yes. Animal Kingdom? <gasps> Dumbo? It's like cow and chicken. Sweet. Cow, chicken. And this is your ordering flow chart. I got him on a personal level. Okay, for that being the cutest place ever and the most delicious sounding flavors, we resisted and didn't get the little we flight. Know we have stuff going on this weekend. Like, and it's so hard not to just. Not on vacation. <laughs> and it's just so hard not to buy everything because. We're not on vacation, but we got these free samples. Mm. What do you think of it? You've had two different flavors now. Good, Good quality. Yeah. I feel like they make that stuff there. It's definitely. I feel like it's not. In, I feel like it's not an original place. Like, there was a quote from Walt Whitman. He used to go to that place in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. If you've been to Ample Hills Creamery in Brooklyn, let us know if it's a real place. Bump into you. Look at these cool ceramics. Home, it's prepare to die, sucker. That's my father. They have here to. You can do ceramic painting and then they'll set overnight and you can pick it up tomorrow for five, five bucks. Cool? Yeah. So, are we having way too much fun? Yeah, we are just chilling on this wonderful couch in the solarium of the beach club and we've never seen Defendants. But it's, it's good so far. We had the cutest. We, we had the cutest little one who would like try acting like she didn't know anything about the movie, and then she knew every single word, every single little like little phrase nuance, and yeah. nuance, like little also, stuff. She also, um, she sat down. This movie is wonderful. At mm -hmm. the end, Gaston tries to kill the beast. She's like, her mouth is like, you don't know if I've seen this movie or not. He's like, don't worry. And then she looked back and she's like. It's okay if we have snacks. <laughs> she has my permission. <laughs> and Sarah's like, yeah, you can have snacks. So they had their own little, little, little snack party. It was so cute. Shoot, we didn't even plan this. We're like, oh, we'll leave the movie at nine. So we leave we'll at nine, eight. and we get out and we hear some booms. And that's what it is. It's Little Miss Muppet over here singing Illuminations. Cool. Also, and at first I was ticked, because all of a sudden, they just walked up and turned off. The yeah, we, we were getting into the sun, even though we've never seen it. Then he would say, okay, the movie that we have planned is starting now. Or, eject. <laughs> um, to her defense, we were just the two people watching it. And we are, though we are kids at heart, we are not kids in body. But I'm happy because that family seemed like they came just for that. Yeah, for sure. They came just for Beauty and the Beast. Ooh. There's a, there's a cat. There's a wild cat. I thought Disneyland only had these. Hold on. Where did the kitty cat go? The cat jumped. Oh. Where? It's over here, but it went this way. Are you making No, it's a, I just saw it again. You can't see it. <laughs> I swear. Sarah's, okay, watch right here. Okay. Come on. I promise there's a cat. Okay, we gave up on the cat, but I looked at the footage on the camera, and for a split second, maybe two frames, you can see the cat running between two rocks. Sarah's going to, like, freeze frame it. The cat jumped up. The cat jumped up. So you can see it.
kabar? I don't know, it just started playing. It's super cool. We're home. Yesterday I was so excited because we were halfway through the week and now we are officially more than halfway through the weekend. Through the week. Tomorrow's Thursday. And we'll talk more tomorrow I think about it, but this book right here is amazing. A gem. I didn't realize that it was all about Disneyland's food history. And I thought we were crazy just loving all Disney's foods, but that was like one of Walt's like core things was like these attractions have to be great, but the food has to be an attraction too. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of that had to do with the snack pack choices that Lauren even chose, just the history of yeah, the whole experience and food is one of them. So we'll get more into that tomorrow, I think. Yeah. So with that, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.